Okay then, let's move on straight towards game 2. First half of AS versus Aku. We're gonna be able to see Sido coming out as Clerk. Clerk wish Trump Card Detention, Lonside wish uh, Impulsive, Addiction, uh, Berserker, and Rage. So going straight towards Hospital. Hospital seems like there's no one inside right now. There is Prospector hiding on the other side, which is a little bit, which is kind of the reason why I hate Hospital. Just because they can stay on outside and you're on inside trying to find someone is so annoying. Mm, Acrobat first chase here getting spotted out. Going straight towards the corner might not be the best option. But it seems like we're able to lock a cypher machine here from aeroplane inside. Which is at least still good news. Mm, we did manage to get a window lock. So the window lock there is going to be useful maybe for birdcage and for runes. but And for shack but nowhere else really. Nowhere else really. We're gonna see if we can get this lock here. Cypher scroll, Acrobat not putting down the Cypher. Not Cypher Palette. And that's a little bit of a leash. That's a little bit. Ooh, okay. Didn't get a hit, but this one should. Okay, flywheel's ready. Just, uh, well, it wasn't just on time, but it was enough. And that's a hit on towards Acrobat right here. Should have jumped the ball a little bit earlier. Should have definitely jumped the ball a little bit earlier right there. But Aeroplanus as well, standing in between Dash Palette, knowing that there's two survivors nearby due to addiction. Acrobat still holding on towards that ball. Cypher so machines are going down pretty fast here. Acrobat needs to maintain a bit of a distance here for. Um... Oh, never mind. Never mind, as I've said, you should have jumped a little bit earlier because you're within blink range. Okay! Acrobat back in towards basement. Psycho can't decode anymore. Aeroplanus has to rotate out. Aeroplanus should be the one coming in to rescue. And seems like he's actually decoding there instead. Okay, he's decoding there instead. Hum, probably breaking the pallet here would have been the better option because what you want to do is to not allow them to have a rebound kite potential but it seems like for the clerk, his clerk is kind of afraid that they'll rescue early but even if they do rescue early, clerk should take it because because that's faster chair time. That's really just faster chair time. Break the pallet, break the pallet, please. Please just break the pallet, my friend. What are you thinking about? Oh, that's going to be a pull in. Didn't get the hit. Acrobat able to rebound kite now. Okay. Yeah, I should have broken the pilot. The only issue there was you should have broken the pilot and not go after Prospector. Even if Prozzy stuns you there, it's fine. That's a very nice um, scroll use. It's a very nice record. Record. Record, not record. Record. I know it's the same word, but it's the way you pronounce it. That matters most. Okay, Prospector. Nice one. Attack recovery. Uh, okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay, Psycho can whistle both Aeroplanist and Acrobat at the same time. And all they need to do right now is to sell. They cannot sell, sorry. They have to rescue once and then sell. They need to they need to at least guarantee one rescue here. Because their cipher machine is definitely enough, but it's not enough for a tie if they decide to full on sell. Because not only Clerk can just go out immediately to stop Aeroplanist from decoding. It's the fact that Psycho is also not decoding here as well. And Acrobat, uh, Acrobat's completely starting a new Cypher machine. Okay, very nicely done by Aero. Aero does have the items to use to get no damage rescue. So at least we know that right now. Clerk did make quite a bit of a mistake there. Uh, you shouldn't be focused on body blocking, I feel. Oh, well. Yeah, you shouldn't be focused on body blocking there. That That is really bad. Because, like, Prospector has two magnets. Prospector has two magnets and a flywheel. Throw a magnet down, and then you flywheel his hit. You don't even need to flywheel his hit properly, and then your magnet will push you out immediately. That's kind of how it works with the magnet side. Right, we've seen 4A7 doing it multiple times as well. I wouldn't be surprised if this Prospector can do it too, because it's not that hard to do. It's really not that hard to do, but we do have a second chance here. We do have a second chance here. A second rescue coming out here immediately. No body block needed. Prospector, very nicely done. We are going to be able to get a stun there. Barely, spare, that's barely a stun. That is barely a stun. That's going to be a second one. Uh, blink down. Okay, there's nothing you can do about blink down there. There's nothing you can do about blink down there. Prospector probably couldn't hold flywheel there on time, but there's nothing you can do about that. But with that in mind, we're able to finish three cypher machines with two cypher machines level at 60 percent on average and of course with that in mind it seems like it seems like we've basically reached where we want to reach right now three survivors may be a half health but at least but at least blink is gone the moment blink is gone here all survivors can contain for a really long time not only with the fact that all they have to do is to rotate uh don't heal just rotate and allow psycho to do all the healing for you okay now then aqua going straight towards runes meanwhile aeroplane is rotating ray letting aeroplane is go might not be the best option here for you but uh, but also he's two jetpack so ouch ouch i guess oh nice jump okay at least i wasn't late jump so we'll take it at least i wasn't late jump so we'll take it gonna be able to get the down that is going to be pala broken nice flywheel but a little bit too early nice flywheel but a little bit too early if that flywheel was just a little bit uh a little bit more accurate it could have been could have been better honestly 
could have been better. But Clerk has quite a lot of scrolls here, so I don't think aeroplanes can decode. Yeah, aeroplane cipher machine is locked. No, no, so what Arrow has to do here is to rotate towards Psycho cipher machine. Arrow cannot stay by his own cipher machine, cause like it's 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 it's, it's like it's like twelve second um twelve second nullify on the cipher machines. So you might as well rotate towards Psycho cipher machine and come back whenever you want. But it seems like right now, uh, it's game over. Yeah, it's game over. Yeah, the 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 biggest issue there was they decided to heal when they had heartbeat. That's the biggest issue. You might as well heal inside. You might as well heal inside rooms instead of like outside this whole shenanigan area. But anyway, Psycho going down here knowing where aeroplane is. This seems like it's going to be more or less a form of elimination here for me. We did get the Cypher machine locked there as well. Knowing that aeroplane is inside upstairs jumping down right now going straight towards Birdcage. Psycho on the other hand is ha uh, will have to use self-heal. But you know what? Even with the self-heal here on mind, we have teleport. So... So, as you, as you see here, zero escape is currently 93% for cleric. Yeah, it sounds about right for me. Tree escape is 0%. Okay, lovely. Tree escape should be at least 1%, I won't lie. Uh, no, not tree escape, sorry. One escape. One escape is 10%. Sorry, red run. Red run, red run, red run. Okay, psycho getting up right here. We do have teleportation scrolls. scrolls. We can use them soon. We can use them soon. The moment you see a cypher machine shaking, it's the moment you teleport. For Dango. For Dango in a nutshell. Okay, okay. But that's broken. That's a hit down. Okay, a bit faster than I thought it would be. Kuma currently being upstairs. Psychologist. But, you know, with a psychologist here in mind, I guess... I guess that's going to be the end. I really do think that's going to be the end here. So let's congratulate the four-man elimination here by clerk and let's move on straight towards second half with some speed up okay they're all done right now the use of self heal and aeroplane set okay moving on Okay, let's see. Game two for uh, game two second half. Uh, we're gonna be able to see Lady Thirteen. We're gonna go for Magician first. That is a Magician first. Okay, they like Magician a lot, don't they? They really like Magician a lot. But that's also because they banned Axeboy and not Afra. <laughs> okay, then let's see Geisha here with the first chase. Geisha first chase in mind. Magician rotating away. That's Flywheel Magician, by the way. Magician definitely brought Weber's lot because of that movement speed boost there as well. But it seems like for now Magician might not be able to survive for long here. First it will register just start immediately um that's quite a fast set 30 seconds in straight towards the game right here meanwhile hina going upstairs it seems to me yep they are never mind going downstairs um he used a wand there okay that's a very nice touch but he used a wand there then mm, for moving speed boost question mark technical see we we could not hide from yeah it's a bit it's not a bad you know decision to do that but i don't think any hunters in this caliber is dumb enough to fall for that maybe if it was me i would but i don't think any hunter hunter would to be honest with you okay mercenary wants the door to hear a little bit unfortunate but mercenary has to, but mercenary has to rescue once before half uh i guess elbow pad will be used okay not a bad elbow pad realistically speaking not a bad elbow pad but mercy has to rescue here mercy 100 has to rescue here no matter what they need a tie game they can rescue and then sell they the only thing mercenary has to do here is to get rid of the wanted order if it wasn't for the wanted order mercenary definitely could have crouches for such a long time but since there is wanted order it's just a whole different story Right now, magician, no wand here remaining, but that's an owl, all right. That's an owl, all right. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait for the owl. That's gonna be a pallet destruction, slow pallet breaking with blink. Uh, if magician can force a blink, it's more or less, it's more or less uh, beneficial for the survivors right now. They're finished two and a half side for machines right now. That's gonna be a vault down. Uh, and we want speed boost here, doesn't seem like Asia can catch up, so we're gonna use blink to catch up here instead. Okay, overall, right now, everything's really good. Mercenary currently getting healed. Uh, that heal rate is gonna be a little bit slow but we are going to be able to find the other two survivors okay mercenary getting fully healed right here acrobat needs sleep but mercy has to come in to give tonight as right now it doesn't really matter whether mercenary finishes the cypher machine or not what matters is mercenary has to come in here to give tonight as immediately um if he's late on giving tonight as and hunter knows where he is oh wait never mind it's tongue coming in uh okay so acrobat is crouching instead of merc that's I don't like this. I genuinely don't like this. I don't like this. No, realistically, realistically, it should be, it should be, it should be Merc crouching, not Acrobat. But it seems like, 
It seems like we're going to be able to see... It seems like we're going to be able to see Merc... Ne Ugh. Seems like we're gonna be able to see Merc next rest. Sorry, that's just background noise. It's my family. It's just annoying me. Anyways, moving back on. Uh, Jimmy here. No, <laughs> the names are quite funny. Jimmy here, mercenary. Next chase, but they're missing one full cipher machine. Like they wouldn't be much missing a full cipher machine if it wasn't for goddamn Merc not crouching, right? You should have Merc crouch. You should have Merc crouch here, and then like your cipher, but like a Merc cipher machine doesn't matter, cause mercenary is not gonna become next chase. Right, and now I know not only with the fact that you've wasted Acrobat's time and your own time in rotating away from that cipher, so Acrobat has to finish it for you. You're missing, you're missing another full cipher machine where you could have a survivor that could decodes at 100%, really fast survivor decoding 100%, especially against a Geisha who you need to sell. Very beautiful flywheel, by the way, holding on towards the ball. That's gonna be a fireball, fireball up, up, up and away. We're just kind of waiting right now while watching at the same time, but Geisha should be able to get a normal hit here regardless. Okay, Geisha normally hit registered. There's two cipher machines at 60% on average. Acrobat, still one item left. Still one item left, but it seems like Mercenary is going to be the next chase here. Okay, Mercy having to rotate from this area. Acrobat needs to go look for either for a new cipher machine or a new or a survivor to heal. Uh, those are the two only options right now. We're going to elbow pad away just to play it safe here for Mercenary side. And of course, with the dash in. That's gonna be a half health here here on Mercenary. Okay, two survivors now at half health. We do have teleport ready. We do have teleport ready, but at least here Cypher Machine has been popped, which is good news here for me. Shibata wanting that formal elimination here. So all survivors have to do is just to play the long game. They need to put the long finger in and play the long game. When Mercenary goes down here, it doesn't matter because the Acrobat is getting healed. So Seer can, realistically speaking, you can get Seer to come in to rescue an Acrobat to decode if I'm being fully honest with you. Okay, Mercenary, lovely stuff. You've done a great job. Great job, my friend. Great job. Okay. Okay. Ay, ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Seer coming in with the rescue. It seems like Geisha wants to chair back towards that prime cipher machine as well. So we might be forcing Seer to early rescue here. But at least the other two survivors are full healed. At least the other two survivors here are full healed. So that's the good news. Okay, looking for Acrobat. Oh, sorry. Okay, looking for Acrobat. Acrobat. Acrobat has to rotate away from- No, Acrobat can actually just rotate in here. Oh, jump over. Nice. Nice. And double pallet down. Okay. Mercenary getting healed here. Acrobat. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Acrobat doesn't necessarily have to rotate away from here because they can just find a new cipher machine to decode. Where's the last three cipher machine? Oh, they're all in the same area. Oh, they're all in the same area, but there's Acrobat's... Well, Acrobat's two white balls now that I think about it, so it's fine. That's five balls in total. That's a vault over during the animation time, which is really nicely done. Seems like... Seems like we can... We, we have to decode either Birdcage or the 72% cipher machine right now. Birdcage is more of a safer option. Very nice pallet stump, but once again, Birdcage is much more or less a safer option. We... We do see which cypher machine is shaking here. We're gonna go back, teleport over, looking for mercenary here once again, currently at full health. But mercenary is not allowed to use his elbow pads now anymore. Mercenary cannot use his elbow pads here anymore. It's, 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 it's. He needs to save it for end game. Really, he needs to save it for end game here. Forty five percent on the tie game. I mean, that's not bad. Forty five percent on tie game is really not bad. Survivors aren't decoding. Uh, no, we are decoding a new cypher machine. Okay, I just saw Sears stop decoding and I don't know why I don't like that. I really, really, being real with you. I don't really like that. Okay, mercenary still with butterflies. There's no way Geisha can dash here anymore. And seems like Geisha's ability is 100% nullified right now. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. We have teleport ready in 60 seconds. Mercenary, long pad containment here. No elbow pads remaining. This might seem pretty bad for Shibata right now. Might seem pretty bad for Shibata right now. Okay. If it was a tie game, everything would have been fine, but this isn't a tie game. We're going to be able to get a normal hit there as well. Mercenary half health, Cypher Machine running Prime. We could pop. Could pop. Could pop. No, we can wait. We can wait. Seer can get some owl. Seer can actually get some owl. Um... Acrobat, okay, Acrobat's nearby, but Seer, Seer, can, Seer, Seer's looking to get some owl. Why is Acrobat coming in? Why are you coming in? Why are you coming in? Why are you coming in, Acrobat? What's the point of you coming in, Acrobat? Um... Okay, Acrobat next chase here. Acrobat white ball, Geisha dash. Um, I don't like this. Dash in, okay, that's fine. Uh, charge, 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 charge. Oh, okay, never mind. You know what? That works as well. That's gonna be acro down. Mercenary, no items remaining. Teleport is ready. We can treat my elimination here. 
We can 100% tree mine elimination here. We're just gonna have to see how we do it. Are we going to teleport here? Geisha, teleport? Teleport? Okay, let's see. Where is here? Here is somewhere. Somewhere behind Shaq. And we know where Mercenary is as well. So are we gonna go for Mercy? We should be going for Mercy here. Okay. Right now, aiming for double down situation would be the for the best case scenario. Five seconds until towards our next dash here on Geisha's side. Geisha coming out. Birdcage jumped over from the Merc. Seeing where Merc is right now. Merc can get the rest. Ah, oh, that hit in the chair. What? Ah, uh, uh, that, 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 that. There goes Trimon. Ah, uh, there goes. There actually goes Trimon elimination. No, that shouldn't have hit in the chair. Ah, Mercy wouldn't have been able to make it towards the gate with only 16 seconds on mine. No way. That hit in the chair. That's going to be a terror shock down. And it seems like Mercenary is going to be able to get out successfully here. Even wish Geisha dashing over that extra 16 second. Oh, the head of the chair, the head of the chair. Moving on. Moving on.